Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. So, um, what I'm going to do now is um, I just showed you guys, uh, well, let's see, since the beginning of the series I showed you how to make some synth clips for your tracks, which is uh, all fine and good, and that's pretty sweet. Um, here, I'm going to turn my mic up just a tad. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Uh, I also showed you how to do a little bit of drum manipulation and whatnot. And then I showed you how to use reference tracks with a spectrum analyzer. And then, last but not least, I showed you guys what's up with how to um, use the spectrum analysis and um, use a reference track and whatnot to try to build um, your own audio effect rack that is... Um, that is a multi-band um, compressor, basically, and, and whatever, multi-band everything. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to uh, show you guys how to save this. I'm going to change this guy here, um, change the name of that as Control-R in Ableton to mids. And this last one, I'm going to do Control-R, make, make that high, right? Uh, bass, mids, high. And then I'm going to um, save this um, by hitting this little guy here. And I'm going to call it, um, I'm going to call it um, Snow Multi, okay? And if you want to get this, um, you can send me an email at snowmetaluniversity at gmail.com. And I will uh, actually save this, uh, or I'll zip this, this preset up for you so that you don't have to do all that grunt work and then you can, uh, you can use it in your tracks. Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because I think I'm going to put the same processing onto each track and kind of maybe just do a little bit of uh, tweaking here and there with each one. And I'm going to do that to try to um, try to get the overall sound of each one of the tracks on the EP to be the same, okay? So now, um, I showed you earlier, let me go to a spot in the track. Oh, that's loud. Turn this down. Sorry, it's hard for me to adjust. Yeah, okay. Um, hopefully this is <laughs> all sounding okay. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I, I mentioned before that I wanted to use, in, in the beginning of the last video, I mentioned that I wanted to run everything into my cassette deck, and I wanted to use that to try to achieve a little bit of warmth or tape compression with each track on this EP, right? So in order to do that, what I've decided to do is I'm going to open up this, this instance of ozone here, and you can see that it's the threshold is set to negative 9.3. That's because I have a lot of headroom in my track, but still, when I play it, you can see there's a good amount of compression, right? You can see all that right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dial this back a little bit. So that there's a lot less. And to see how much, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, um, an audio track here. I'm going to turn the sound off and I'm going to make the audio from the bus track route to this track and I'm just going to um, bus track I'm just going to record a few bars so that you can see uh, what the difference is between um, be between maximized and not okay I just, I just want to see how squashed I'm actually squashing it at the current settings so go here. That's with uh, it's, the CPU is, is messing up a bit. But that's with very little squash. Let me squash it up hard. Back to 9.3, where it was. And then we'll bypass it as well. Okay, now when I look at this waveform, I can see that in the beginning it is still maximized so a lot of the the quieter parts are much louder right the louder parts aren't really clipping so they're not really dialed back at all but there's still a good amount of dynamic range when you see this right if you come over here when i dial it back to 9.3 some of the dynamic range is lost but the overall track is louder and then you can see the difference between the bypass here and the low amount that I have going on here. So what I'm going to do, let me get rid of this track. What I'm going to do is I'm going to render it again with the um, ozone maximizer dialed back to about, I'm going to say, four. 
right? I'm going to render the track out, and I'm going to actually uh, render all five of the tracks uh, that are on the EP out um, with these similar settings. I'm going to tweak them a little bit um, in accordance with the nature of the music and whatnot. Some of them have a lot of heavier bass than this track, being uh, trap tracks and all that. The thing is that when it's done, um, I'm going to run all of them into my cassette player and I'm going to drive them just above zero so that they saturate, right? It's going to add a tiny bit of distortion. It's really going to add a bunch of tape warmth and it's going to be crazily good. And then I'm going to re-record them from cassette back into live and I'm going to put another instance of ozone uh, uh, maximizer on there and I'm going to drive them just a little bit harder. So hopefully in the end I will have a loud but not overly squashed track that has some tape compression and tape warmth. Anyway, yeah, send me, an, uh, make sure you subscribe. You can check out my other channel. Um, it's somewhere in here. I, I keep advertising it. It's uh, youtube.com slash Clear. But if you want this uh, snow multi, if you want this, this multi-band compressor that I made uh, in front of your face in the last video, and you can find a link to the video as well right here, then what you want to do is you want to send me an email um, to snowmetaluniversity at gmail.com. And make sure you introduce yourself and let me know what you got going on. Let me know what your music goals are. Everybody be blessed.